Well, good morning. It's been a while. I've been uh, laying low. Well, not really. We've actually had a pretty busy yard getting a lot of vans out, so this is uh, long overdue. So this is one of Retreat's uh, brand new 2023 models. This is the Sunday XE, it is now called, in a 194B. So for those that don't know Retreat now, uh, their whole range is off-road. So this features the same suspension as what the Fraser did in 2022. So it's a uh, three and a half ton twin shock trailing arm independent from the boys at ARV. So it's got the Pedders shocks and the King Springs. Uh, I'm a big fan of the, the, the Pedders shocks. While they're not the greatest shock, um, the, the fact that you've got access to uh, Pedders uh, Australia wide, I think is good confidence. And the boys at Pedders do a good job at looking after any, any uh, manufacturer that fits their Australian product. So yeah, uh, a few other extras on this too. Um, compressor fridge. It's obviously got the high checker plate as well. This one's in the grey, which is lovely. Um, it's also got the extended drawbar now, standard. So no box as such, but um, it gives you the option to do whatever you want. If you want to put some bike racks there, you could do that. Uh, the good thing with the chassis too, they get it pre welded on the brackets there to put on whatever you like. Predominantly, obviously, it's going to be a toolbox. So this has got the DO35 coupling as well now this year. And of course, being a retreat, it's got that beautiful full composite one piece roof. So no joints there whatsoever, guys, from the back all the way to the front rolls down. And obviously that polyurethane frame. So one fantastic thing we're seeing this year with retreats too is uh, weights. So, you know, being a 19 foot four in an off-road, what's she coming in at? Might be a bit hard to see. What we got there? Be hard to focus on. Get some light. So 2509 we have. Which is, you know, for an off-road van in a bunky. That's pretty damn good. Uh, fully lined tunnel boots. I'm sure I've ramped on about this before, but it's it's a good thing, and it's a full height boot as well, guys. So you can fit a Weber in there. You can fit, you know, whatever you want, and it's a little bit deeper than most as well. Now, obviously, this has got the east-west bed too, so it gives you the extra storage hatch there as well, which is handy. Storage is always handy. So moving along, we now have a double step. Obviously in this model, it's a flat floor. Um, for those that don't know what that means, essentially the, there's no wheel arch there. You can see it's dead flat, mainly because there's, there's reasons why. There's internal products inside the van that need to be there. So it needs to be on a level ground, uh, whether it's a fridge, whether on the other side or, or something here that it may actually go into the ensuite slightly just there as well. So that's the main reason in this model why it has to be a flat floor. And it's also a truss chassis as well, which is nice. And get underneath your little peak, so there's the suspension set up as well. And then she's also sitting on 16 inch wheels too. Now, this is a good thing. Picnic table there, that's obviously got the retreat standard map under there as well. And grey water tank also standard now too. And then reversing camera as well up there so latest decals for these guys too love it absolutely love it um, it definitely makes an impact uh, on the road uh, fusion outside speakers so good quality speakers on the outside Dominic rollout awning center support cradle for the awning as well and then also your your bug lights and they've got two awning lights as well so for a little van it's gonna be a lot of light out here so jumping in one feature I think is fantastic is obviously the king bed. Look at that. So they don't bother with the little nook here covered in the corner, guys. Um, you've got the drawers underneath. So these are actually drawers. And then you've got all cabinetry across the top as well. So heaps of storage in this model. 
if you're, you're not fussed about climbing over one another, um, you do definitely get a lot of benefits. Especially if, you know, you got kids, you, you can all jump on there, lay there, watch a movie. TV brackets just here on the corner so you can swing it around for the couch this way or just lay in bed. So you obviously with the roof, all fiberglass guys, so not only for strength, it's a very strong roof. Um, it's extremely well insulated as well. We do notice a difference coming into retreats, the temperature difference for sure. The panning around one thing people do love also about retreat, you know, we've got fantastic quality products fitted. So they're a Dometic window. So you've got the, the midgy screens as well. So you can not hard to see. It's a very fine mesh compared to some of the other brands. So this is a premium window guys. It's four or five different manufacturers of windows now. This one is probably my favorite. No more clips anymore. They've gone. Um, they're just a they're magnetic type one. And then of course this has got the foil line backing as well so keep the heat out as well so going with a bench seat here which i think works perfectly sometimes a lot of you know commentary it's wasted um you know with returns and stuff on the end makes it harder to get into the fridge and you easily fit three you know i'd say three adults there and then you've got the two little little stools here as well which they match with the seating i, th I think it's fantastic so Obviously, too, um, this year the Whitsunder XE now has the HA, so it's lithium compliant straight off the bat as well. You've got the Odyssey screen, uh, it's got the, you can see, they don't skimp on cable size either. There's the solar feed, and they, they split them up, which is a good thing to do. Um, and then you've got the Odyssey link, which runs the tablet at the door, of course, as well. So moving along, we've got the compressor fridge, big two door. And there, and so yes, um, 188 litre, I believe this one is. You can upgrade it and go to the 224 if you want as well. You're cool. I'll pan back and spin around. Have a look at this kitchen. Fantastic. So yeah, recessed cooker, filtered water, look at that black sink, still heaps of bent space for a 19 foot four. Very cool. Cabinetry retreat in the last 12 months has come a very long way. All roller bearing jaw runners, but look at that nice flush finish, much nicer. So I do get a lot of talk about people asking me about these lights. Why don't I have the down lights like all the other vans? Why don't I have the individual ones scattered? Now the reason is guys, it's a, it's a composite roof, yeah? So. They, they may have to make tracks to fit all of these so there's not there's not ease of you know running cables all over the place so a lot of these cables and they want they don't want to cut too much the insulation out not only for insulation properties but for strength as well if the whole thing gets cut out too much it's going to be you know loose so they limit the amount of, of runs or cable runs as you would say across the lights like this so across the center and then they run back to keep the strength in the roof so at the door you've got the fusion stereo I love this Fusion Stereo, it's really good, super easy to select your zones, you can see you can select one or the other or split them both together, it's, yeah it's good. Good quality products in vans makes a big difference, um, you know some of these cheaper Chinese stereos I'm not a big fan of, two of my brands now are using this Fusion, Fusion Gear, Great Aussie being the other one, um, so yeah I love the Fusion stuff, it's good stuff. Obviously the, the tablet here as well, um, like I said, this one is lithium ready. Uh, if you want to upgrade it down the track, or we can do it on an order as well. So moving into the uh, kids area, one key feature, obviously again, with the retreat are these solid ensuite doors. So these are like a padded with vinyl on the outside guys. So, and it actually goes to the floor, look at the gap. There's no gap, which is good. It's going to keep the noise out. I have kids, I know what it can be like, noisy. You know, you want to sit and have a relax after they go to bed, just have a glass of wine or whatever. Wine, I don't drink wine. Um, but yeah, it's it's good to have a nice, decent door to uh, keep the noise out. Panning around, we've got the bunk area. These little sleeping bags, I actually use these in my van, guys. These are from Kmart, I believe. I've recommended these to a few people. So you can pretty much drop them on top, leave a bottom sheet on the bottom. Um, and then these can roll up like a sleeping bag. You can see the straps there. And yeah, so it's not that noise of, you know, the standard sort of sleeping bag. 
So, you know, on average sort of nights, I mean, you could put a throw rug over it as well to keep them warm, but you can climb in there, be as snug as a bug, and then you get the little pillows with it as well. So really long windows, uh, that's a nice thing uh, for the kids in the bunk area as well. And they've got their little padded area at the back there for their iPad. And then, you know, the USB point is built into the light now as well, which is a good feature. Inside here, you got uh, shelving, so no more hanging space. Just makes so much more sense with kids. How many kids have hanging space? I don't think so. Um, so you'd fit heaps, jumpers, everything. Man, yes, yeah, far out. That's a lot of storage for kids on holidays in there. And then the cool thing is too, you get these two little drawers added, like so. Give you an idea of the runners. See the roller bearing drawer runners on there? So they're all soft clothes as well. And that one too. So his and hers, if it's a two bunker like this one, perfect. And then down the bottom, you've got oh, the little front load washing machine, which is great. Um, little, drop down flat there too because there is storage under the bunk as well all right panning around obviously we continue with the black accessories this one's been i'll see that fitted in it too looks very chic very nice so this has also got the the padded sort of vinyl door which makes this space you can walk you know guys this is probably you know i'd probably say 1.2 this gap so essentially you close this door off and you've got this whole area has a change room. Um, you know, if you're trying to deal with kids and stuff, it makes a lot of sense. And then you shower in there, of course. And decent size, because it's only a 19 foot four. No, I could fit in there quite easily, guys. So these lights too, I don't know if I, it's but they can actually change to blue as well which can just be handy at night for kids too, just to keep that faint little light on. So yeah, she's a beauty. Obviously, uh, retreat's a bit hard to get into. This uh, stocky doesn't have anyone's name on it yet. Can't release it for a while because it's got to go to a, a show. It's got to be able to show the punters what they're getting. Um, but yeah, beautiful van, very well finished off. One of the premier brands in Australia. Um, and I've really gone leaps and bounds in the last two years. I've smashed it with development, obviously with the ERV as well. Got some exciting content coming from What's Up Down Under shortly too, because it was tough tested. Um, I even got to tow it up there and gave it a fair beating myself on some corrugated roads and they definitely, they stand up to it. So thanks for watching guys. Like, share, subscribe. Uh, I'll try and get some more content up. Thanks for watching. Bye.